Hi there, the last 10 weeks passed in a flash. Although a lot has happened which led me to film in this video in my home office, our dev teams worked hard and delivered the brand new version of the Linchpin Intro NetSuite 3.1. Let's take a look. Especially in times we can't be around our colleagues, it is important for us to express ourselves. In the new Linchpin version, you can give your user profile a personal touch. As you can see, you can upload a header image, which will be placed right above your profile information. You can upload and choose any image you'd like and position it by using your mouse. When you are happy with the result, all you need to do is save. On top of that, we moved all the information in the contact area into the middle of the header. So in order to make it easier for you to browse the new user profiles, we have redesigned the people directory. The people directory, which can be accessed through this icon in the header, displays all users who have access to your Linchpin or Confluence site. As you can see, we have unified their interface so it matches the hubs from the microblog or news, for example. And in addition to that, you can filter that list below. For example, let's take a look for someone who works in Germany and speaks French. And you see this list is filtered down. The filters you can see here can be configured in the administration. All you need to do there is choose a profile field, save the configuration, and as soon as you update the people directory right here, you will now see that you can also filter for another profile field. One of the first steps almost every administrator takes after installing Lynchpin is changing the theme so it matches the corporate design. The Lynchpin theme allows you to do so. The new version makes it even easier for you now. Lynchpin theme configuration comes now with a theming wizard which can be started by just clicking on the button. All we need to do now is upload a file, in this case a logo, click on next and you can see that the theming wizard tries to read the color code of that logo. As soon as we click on save and confirm again, our dashboard has the new logo and colors the certain elements in a specific color which can be found in the logo. Lynchpin is not only popular for sharing news or discussions in the microblog. Lynchpin is based on Atlassian Confluence, which is why it comes with a broad set of collaboration tools. With the new Lynchpin version, we bring more attention to these features. As you can see here in the sidebar, we have added a few bubbles. Now, users can see their Confluence tasks, they can see the activity stream, and if there is an uplink between Confluence or Lynchpin and Jira, you can see your open Jira issues. Which information is displayed here? can be configured in the module configuration of this sidebar. Here you can see that you can just disable the open Jira issues, click on save, and now the last bubble here on the right side disappears. One of the major updates of this Lynchpin version concerns Lynchpin Mobile. Our dev teams worked hard and replaced the whole technology behind Lynchpin Mobile. Let's take a look at the mobile app. As you can see, the user interface is changed. It looks way better, it's more modern, it works faster, it is more reliable and stable, and it works with Confluence Data Center in read-only mode. In addition to that, if you are using Vimeo videos, you can now play them directly from your mobile app. We know that a lot of you are using the ViewTrack app to gain valuable insights in your intranet usage. For you, we have an exciting update. The View Tracker from Bitfuru is now integrated with our Lynchpin Enterprise news, so users can now see which news they haven't read yet. New blog posts, for example on the dashboard, contain this purple circle which indicates that a user hasn't read a blog post yet. So if I click on this blog post, and read it, go back to my dashboard, I won't see the purple circle anymore. 
Not so long ago, we have introduced the Lynchpin onboarding and assistant feature, which is loved by the administrators, as it helps them collect information from users without disrupting their workflow. We have listened to your feedback and made some few improvements to them. It is now possible to set the option that a notice from the assistant, for example, is only shown once, so users don't feel bothered. In addition to that, you can now set a start and expiry date, which allows you to prepare those notifications in advance. All right, that's it. As I said in the beginning, all these features are available in the Lynchpin Internet Suite 3.1, which is already available in the Atlas Marketplace. Have fun testing them out. Please also excuse the poorer video and sound quality. Hopefully in the next 10 weeks, everything will be gone back to normal so we can record the next update from our studio. Talk to you then. Stay safe.